Hey folks, welcome back to Hook Trigger Trail. This is your host Mason. Today we're at the bench. So I'm going to show you the things you might run into when you are installing your Hogue overmolded stock for a 500 onto the Model 835 Mossberg. So your stock's going to go on just like it would anything else, no big deal. You take your main lag screw that you've had ever since you bought the gun, you throw that in there, no big deal. And, of course, you're going to take off your butt pad first with an appropriate screwdriver so you don't mar all the screws up in there. All good. But, the biggest thing you're going to need to do is get what is referred to as a forend adapter nut. Now, Hogue won't send it with you because it's a specialized part just for the 835. You're going to have to buy it separate. You can get that on Amazon for around nine bucks. Not gonna post a link down below because YouTube is all silly about that. No big deal. Stock 58 bucks. That's less than what you can get one of these ATI pistol grip stocks for. Even though it comes with the foreign and all that, they're still like 98 bucks or 99 bucks. You can find them at a lot of the outdoor stores. Either way, I digress. So here's the regular four end nut and the Hogue one is about four times longer because on your stock fore end, the shim that holds that in is in a different spot compared to how you have it on here. So you have to make sure you install that in order to fit this up right. The other th thing that I noticed with this is it's really tight and the rubber was meeting the metal. So what I do for now is I'm just having it oiled up. That ought to take care of it for a little bit, but I will go through and I will sand off with some fine sanding paper some uh, some of that material off so it won't hit. The reason why that's happening is because this is made for a 500 and not an 835. It just so happens that it will fit an 835 with a little bit of augmentating. So this has a 10 gauge barrel with a 12 gauge chamber and a 10 gauge bore because it's overboard over mold on the hogue overboard on the mossberg so that's why i'm probably running into that un to which where you will not run into that with the 500 because you're dealing with a thinner diameter barrel so you shouldn't have to worry about that i just figured i'd put that out there for the folks on youtube looking to do the same thing i was because there is no video about it and there is no video about people Telling you that you're going to have to use an 835 adapter nut from Hogue. So that's what I did. It's really comfy. I like the stippling and you get that on the forend and you get that on the pistol grip. The pistol grip has a nice sharp angle to it too. So that'll kind of help get you lined up to that trigger nicely. And a nice squishy buttstock to handle them three and a half inch loads out of here. I definitely suggest it. You know, we love our Hogue around here. Before I had a tamer on it and the pistol grip only setup, PGO setup. And then I got one for my Taurus 856 and I got one for the Smith & Wesson bodyguard. So we love our Hogue around here. Probably end up getting a couple for the ARs. What have you. Either way. Real easy to install otherwise, just like you would any other stock, so I'm not going to lead you through that. Other than that, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.